Today we're gonna to be stocking our giant saltwater pond with one, two, three, four, five different buckets of really cool exotic fish. A quick recap of this series, if you guys haven't been following along, we took this pond from looking like this with two giant groupers in it and transformed it entirely, adding some new rock, sand, and all that good stuff, and finally it looks just like this. Now it's still not crystal clear yet. This is gonna take a long time to get actually clear, but that's fine. We've still got a lot of things coming that we need to add to this pond. The new Fish Guy Outdoors collection is now officially live. And in honor of the brand new outdoor collection, we're gonna be giving you guys a free mystery hat for anyone who purchases something from the new collection and a mystery box. If you get that combo, you're getting a free mystery hat. Quick rundown of the Fish Guy Outdoors collection. Of course, we got the brand new camo performance tee, super clean. We got the new camo dad hat that you guys can all be rocking. We got the gray quarter zip, whether you're trying to look stylish or you're trying to hit that golf range. We got the clean brown cuffed beanie for anyone that's freezing out there. So we got the Fish Guy Retro water resistant hat designed to protect against the elements in any kind of adventure. And the final little cherry on top, we got the brand new Fish Guy 40 ounce tumbler cups here, keeping everyone hydrated. Whether you're out on the water, doing whatever you enjoy doing, going on a hike, being out in the beautiful outdoors, it is so important to stay hydrated. We want you guys to look good while doing it. So we got the Fish Guy 40 ounce tumbler. Now this collection is one of the most high quality collections we have ever done. We designed this one solely so you guys can wear it on and off the water. If you're going fishing, you're going golfing, you're going out with the guys, whatever it is you guys are doing, we're just trying to keep you guys looking clean and repping that fish guy lifestyle. Now the new performance seat, I know you guys are gonna love. We actually upgraded our quality again, making sure it's perfect for you guys, whether you're fishing or just lounging. Plus, honestly, my one of my favorite uh, things is this little loop here, just to make sure, you know, you don't want that sun burning those hands. And also the way we're gonna start doing our new collections is just we're gonna drop them limited quantity in each drop we're just gonna have each different drop be its own different collection and then once they sell out they sell out so if you guys like the collection go check it out these won't be dropped again maybe in a different color if you guys really like it but these specifically won't be dropped again and remember if you get any new item from the collection the outdoors collection plus a mystery box we're gonna throw in a free mystery hat for you guys so go check out the collection hope you guys are looking fresh coming this spring. And it's perfect timing for the new drop because it's a great day, a great video. We're gonna be stocking our saltwater pond with fish that we bought from the store for the very first time. Let's get into it. We are finally gonna be adding fish after such a long time of reconstruction and without this pond, we haven't had this pond for a long time, we got five buckets of fish and we told you guys we were gonna make this thing like a reef. So we're starting with a bunch a little, We're starting with a starter bits. fish. Yeah, you have to start with starter fish. You don't want to load it with thousands of dollars worth of fish or a thousand dollar fish in general, and then it ends up, you know, RIPing. Exactly. That sucks. So you got to start. Quickly. We're starting with some nice, hardy, really, really cool fish to add in here to get that cycle going. Get that those fish swimming around those rocks. Honestly, this Dude. pond is so big. It, this is like we have like a good amount of fish right in yeah. front of us, and it's not even going to look like that much fish. I know. Because I, this pond is freaking huge. It's, it's gonna be an ocean for these fish to go in there. Literally, it's like they're going back home. We are also thinking about building another rock structure right here in the front, so that way if they wanna cruise around a rock structure, maybe we can see them a little bit more in the front, but that's down the road. Just a thought. Just, just a thought. thought, just a thought. Now we're gonna jump head first into bucket number one. We're finally adding fish, and I am really freaking excited to see them swim around. The only thing we've ever known to inhabit this pond has been absolute behemoth whales. That's literally this big. And we're about to put like 15 fish in that are all like that. It's gonna be freaking wicked. It's gonna be awesome. The goal, like we mentioned, the goal is to make this a reef, to have a bunch of different fish swimming around in here, color galore. Everything, and not, the whole reef. Not a, you know, Probably group. We're talking sharks too, folks. Sharks, stingrays, every single thing. As long the as they're compatible, fish. they're going in, baby. Let's go, let's jump into it. It's Bucket fun. number one, folks, come take a look right here. We've got the very first fish going inside, and this is one you don't come across very often. Those are salt water mollies. Now we got these guys because we can get five of them. They only had five, so we got five of them. And uh, they're cool to just see school around, see swim around and, and school up, and uh, they'll be great for swimming around the ponds. Once again, we're adding fish that are gonna be really good to uh, get this pond going, boost that cycle. I really wish they had some orange or yellow that we could have mixed it up, but they only have black right now, but these guys are gonna be good. Good little starter fish inside here, so let's get them in. All right, let's take a look at these guys. Look at that, little puddle right there. All, I mean, these things are jet black. Yeah, Melanistic it's, it's right cool, there. It's cool, dude. It's sick, I love them. Those look really, really freaking cool. All right, let's get them in. The very first fish 
going inside. Here we go. Lost two, lost two, lost two. There they go. They are in. They are in. Wow. We have five fish inside. They all went straight to the rocks. Straight to the rocks, and that is it. They are freaking gone. Let me see if I can hunt them down with the GoPro. As you guys can see, check this homeboy out. He's chilling by the glass. All the other ones have left right to the rocks and they have disappeared entirely. So once again, once you start feeding them, they'll come up to the, to the top of the glass. But we knew, these are small fish. We wanna load this thing with small fish and start small and go bigger. Making it a true reef. They look so freaking cool in here, baby. I'm pumped. It's gonna be so worth it starting small and, and, and going like this and slowly growing the reef. But this is so, it's so cool. Even just to have fish in the pond for the first time in forever, I'm pumped, man. Now that was our first fish, obviously the smallest fish that we're getting. We're getting a little bit bigger as we go. And the last one is actually the biggest one of the day, who's actually pretty, he's a beefy nacho loaded. So we're hey. getting, we're slowly gonna get bigger. Bucket number two is actually a fish from my tank. If you guys have been watching uh, my videos, I, I hate this fish. I honestly have major beef with this fish because <laughs> he was beefing with everybody in my tank. So you know what, we're gonna get him in here in the ocean so he has to really work his absolute hardest to beef with a fish. I think so. he's gonna be really freaking stoked. And he's cool, he's, he's a cool fish, he's just an asshole. It's just a real shame that the asshole is the one that gets the upgrade to a 3,000 gallon over I know, here, but I know, that's I know. just how it works. Let's take a look at this guy right here. This is a gorgeous coral beauty angelfish. Look at that right there. Look at the coloring on that right there. Purple on the outside, yellow right here, some beautiful stripes, orange on the bottom. This guy is gonna look so cool inside of here. And the thing with angelfish is, you gotta be careful when you put them in a small, tight area, especially if they have the same shape, because they will be beefing. But in a pond like this, with this much room and this much structure, I think we to... could have like a few of those. Yeah, and a few of other types. All right, let's get this guy in, let's get him in. All right, I think I wanna name this fish Don. All right, let's get this beauty inside of there. Take a look at that guy. Oh, he went in! There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. He's in there, way in the He's back. He's so tiny, dude. He's miniature. Mollies are right next to uh, the new angel fish in the tank. It's so sick. It's Look at this angel. So we got the five mollies and then the angel just swimming around, hanging out in the back corner. So this guy's chilling already, right by the crushed coral. They love the crushed coral, Jack. They do, dude. All the mollies are sitting over here too. Yeah, they, they can just, they sense it. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. There he is! He's there so is. small, dude. He's, I mean, he's, he's a good to normal size angel, but he is small compared to this, to this giant monster of a pond. Look at the, look at the three little looking mollies <laughs> cruising in the back. The angel is right in that little cave in the bottom there. He is in there in the back, chilling. He found his little spot for now. He's obviously like, whoa, I'm in an ocean right now. And then the mollies are in the back. Let's go. Okay, Look, it literally looks like there's no fish in here. That's a good thing. It's a great thing. You have to think about all the videos we can now film rather than, all right, we had two fish occupying the whole thing. But I will say this, once we maybe hit that like 100 fish mark, I think we're going in. Yeah. I think, we're, I think we're gonna go and really get in there under the rocks like this with the GoPro, really give you guys that good footage. Exactly. Now we're getting into bucket number three. This is a fan favorite. You guys absolutely love these fish. Bucket number three, every time I see these fish, I think of Chris. I love these He's fish. just a huge fire fish guy and that's exactly what we have inside of this bucket <laughs> right them. here. We got a pair of fire fish. These things are freaking sweet. Take a look at these things. They are. They're wickeds, bro. You gotta be careful with these guys. Take a look at that right there. Goes from purple to orange to pink almost, to white, and then back into yellow. The eye on that guy is wicked. They have a really cool horn on the top. You guys will see it all when we, uh, once we get them inside of the pond, but these, these fish right here are really dang cool. It's funny because, you know, typically you maybe get five of them and your, your tank is stocked to firefish. In here, we're gonna need Literally 40 of them <laughs> for it to look like we have a school of firefish. I know. But I'm glad we got the pair because they like staying together. It's very good and important. Very good and important. Very good and important. Let's get a shot of them up here. Come take a look at these guys up here. <laughs> Two so sick. little firefish. They look so freaking dope inside there. All right, let's take a look on the grass. Oh, oh, we got a runner. We got one runner. We still got one left. All right, here we go. Let's get this guy out. Go on, buddy. Get out of my net. Why are you drifting? There you go. He's in. Go on your other buddy. Go on your other buddy. He's so freaking small, dude. So small. Oh, wait, he just found him. He just found his guy. Two firefish, five mollies, one angelfish Jack. are now in the pond. Now, firefish also come in some other colors that I think maybe we should dabble into, but these guys right here are just the standard firefish, and they look really dang cool inside. You guys are seeing them chilling by the rocks right now. 
My favorite part about these firefish is that they're not gonna you know, hide in there. They're actually gonna be venturous and swim around and they look really cool. They add great color. Once this water's gin clear, doesn't have that green tint, you guys can see the beauty of these guys, guarantee it. Even, them, even when they're swimming by the glass, great color, man. I, I have to say, these are 10 out of 10 firefish. 10 out of 10 firefish. 10 out of 10. For now, everything's looking really, really just spectacular in here. We are moving on to bucket number four. This is our next bucket, and we have a little school of fish as well. We've got three Springer damsels, bright blue, really good color. So they should look good in the pond, as long as long along with those mollies. We're getting some schools. You know, we got the school of mollies, we got the school of firefish, and now we're gonna get the school of damsels in here. So we're working small to big, and I think it's looking great so far. Whoa, look at how blue they are. That's those, like a knockoff Dory. Those are sick. The craziest part is, I say this every time, these were $6 or $5 when we started the hobby. These fish are now $16, and that's just, Absurdity, but look at that. 150% increase. That is insane. Look at the royal blue on those guys right there. Really, really neat. We're gonna get them in the net right now and get them inside. Jack has been failing on the releases so far. He's just really, he doesn't know how to do it, to be honest with you. Got him, got him. So let's get a good release That's here. a good net job here. Let's get one look over the top, just like this. Come on, guys. Take a look at those guys right there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Shout out Daryl. Yeah, buddy. Those are gonna look good. All right, let's get them out. Wee! There they go! That's Let's an A+. Go. Plus. Let's go. That's an A+. Plus release. Kept them in their pack. Kept them in their pack. Look how small they look inside of here. That is so freaking funny. It's hilarious. It's Three hilarious. Three springers, five mollies, two firefish, and one angelfish inside of the pond with one grand finale left, but I still like, I think the damsels no, nothing beats the firefish. I yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a firefish guy. The firefish are, are definitely the best, but those, those damsels look really dang good. Good blue, so we got some blue, we got some orange, we got some purple, we got some yellow, we got black. That's we actually it. don't have any yellow in here until the next fish. Bucket number five, the biggest fish of the day. I know we, I think we added like how many fish? Five. I think it's been 13 seven, fish. Seven, 11 what? fish. This guy's going backwards. 11 fish. 11 fish. No, no. Five mollies, three damsels. Oh yeah, you're right. Two fires and an angel fish. Yeah, you're right. 11 fish have been added and now this is our grand fish. fish. For a total of 12 fish added to this monster pond. He's our biggest fish. He's really, he's a good The size. best fish too. Check him out. He looks crazy right now. This is a fox face tang. He looks absolutely wild. He's got all the colors that a fox face tang makes right now. White, brown, a little beige action and some yellow. But these guys get super bright yellow. If they're magnificent, which this guy's not. If they're magnificent, they get like a little pink, I think. So hopefully soon we can get a uh, magnificent fox face for the pond. But these guys do get pretty, pretty, pretty large, I would say. So good fish. How many inches would you say? I would say maybe eight, eight inches. It's a good fish, a nice healthy fish. That's a nice fat fish, for sure. Let's get him in. This is gonna be a fish that's big. Biggest. Now, Jack doesn't wanna hold this fish because it's a venomous fish. I usually hold them. But I've been hearing stories more and more of people just saying it hurts like a bitch. Yeah, you don't want to mess so with it. So I'm just not gonna hold him. So we're just gonna use the net and we're gonna get him in just like that. He's looking at me. Yeah, he wants to go in the pond. He's looking at me. He's, He's looking, looking at me funny. He's over the acclimation bucket. You ready? Okay, changing colors already. Here he goes. Whoa, whoa! He's gonna dart off. You gotta be really chill with this guy, Jack. He's gonna be pissed. Put him against that glass. Look at that right there. That is a really, really neat fish. I'm really, really pumped up about this guy right here. Let's look at him up against the glass. Look at that. Sick. That is freaking dope. Now you can see he's got the yellow on the top right there. Oh, he wants to go. There you go. He's got the yellow on the top there, which typically will go throughout the whole entire body. So that's something to look forward to. You know, obviously it's gonna take time, you know, a few hours, maybe a couple days even before he's got his rich color. But that's the exact reason why you subscribe, put your notification bell on so you don't miss our next video. We might give you guys an update. Whenever we post another saltwater pond video, you guys will see this guy. He's gonna be really, really cool staple in here. I can't believe it. We've got 11, I love him. 11 or 12 fish total. Now. He found a nice little rock, Jack. Good. I don't know good. if you can see, but he's in a cave. He's perched up like I'm just. Good. He's just good. a great fish. We need some blue tangs in here. Big blue tangs in here. I'm telling you. Whenever we go and buy fish, we try to get as many fish as possible in the in the sense that we can, you know actually add them to our pond in our price range, or would you guys rather like one Earl Dory? Like big Earl Dory. I think that's coming. An Earl Dory? I mean- I've yeah. seen Earl Dories. They are big and they look beautiful. Maybe big wrasse, 
Let us know down below. The comment section is wide open. It's completely free to comment. It's completely free to subscribe, completely free to like the video. Do it all, help the fish guys out. Let us know down below in the comments what fish you guys would like to see us add. Schooling fish, maybe a solo fish, sharks, stingrays. Let us know down below. Don't forget to go check out the shop. The latest drop is now live. Click the first link down below in the pinned comment or in the description. Happy shopping, happy fishing, happy fish guy. It's a great day to be alive. It's a great day to be a fish guy. See you on the next one. Later.